This is a production of Cornell University. I had a great experience of going abroad, and so I met a lot of kids from other schools because I didn't. I made a point to not room with anyone from Cornell, so I got to meet all these kids. And I think the resources is really what it came down to. I had a girl come visit me so she could go to the Cornell libraries. <laughs> she was just astounded. We spent an entire day going to all the different libraries, and I was like, "And this is the Harry Potter library, yeah. and, and this one's in a basement, and this one's fireproof." And like, I mean, it's just kind of fun to go through and. I mean, the, the list of like 151 things you have to do before you graduate right. or whatever it is, you get through it and you're like, I'm still not done, I've got so much more. And it's just, I think it's everything that Cornell has to offer. I think the advising program is also a really important part. I had a lot of friends who went to state schools, although I know Cal's is partially state funded, but they didn't really get a lot of guidance in any of their classes. And especially for me, my advisor's really been with me every step of the way, you know, advising me on classes. He found me an internship after my freshman year to make sure that I got some experience. And it's just been very helpful having someone telling you what to do. Unlike, say, my brother, who's at a, a state university, and he was just pretty much told good luck <laughs> and left on his own to try and figure out his classes. And it worked out, but it's just a lot easier if you have someone to give you advice. This has been a production of Cornell University, on the web at cornell.edu.